Hey guys, welcome back. So let's talk about our first dashboard in this SQL Monitor Infra. The dashboard name is Monitoring Live All Servers. As you can guess by the name, from this dashboard we will monitor all the servers in one glance. I have already opened this dashboard here in this new tab. So here we are. In this dashboard we have three rows. The first row includes the list of all the servers that we are baselining with this SQL Monitor Infra. You will get the basic details about those servers. Those basic details include domain name, machine name, what is the version of SQL Server, uh, CPU information, then how much RAM is there on the box, uh, uptime of operating system as well as SQL Server service. And then there is this last column which indicate uh, whether the current version and patch on that SQL Server instance is support is uh, under the mainstream support of Microsoft. Then we have this second row. So any server will appear in this second row when that server is not accepting uh, new SQL Server connections or if the server is offline. Then we have this third row and any server which is having some kind of issue and need DB attention, that server will appear in this third row. For example, this row is appearing here just because uh, there was a mem uh, low memory state signal from operating system sent to SQL Server. So, uh, what servers are being baselined? Uh, all these servers which were appearing in this uh, first result set, they these are the servers which are baselined in our SQL Monitor Infra. So right now, it seems that on my Infra, uh, we have about five SQL instances which have been baselined. One of these instances is a named instance SQL Express on workstation server. So in order to uh, produce scenarios, uh, I am going to bring that instance down and expectation is that SQL instance should appear in this second row. So let's generate the scenario. So here I am on that workstation box and I am going to stop this SQL server service that uh, for express named edition, so named instance. So here I go. <clears throat> so now we can see SQL express named instance is offline. And now within fuse, uh, within a minute or two, that named instance should, that SQL instance should appear in this second row indicating that that instance need DBA help as it is offline or not accepting new connections. So there we go. So that SQL instance is appearing here indicating that it is not available. Now let's generate the uh, scenario where there is high CPU memory or RAM. Uh, there is high CPU or RAM issue and uh, we want that server to appear in this third result set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a workload against this SQL Server instance, name, uh, the name is SQL Practice, and then that SQL Server instance will start appearing here. Before showing that, just to give you an overview how the current stats of uh, CPU and memory looks like on that SQL Practice instance, So at moment operating system CPU is only 5% and SQL Server CPU is nearly 0% on that box. This is how the CPU trend looks like for last 30 minutes on that SQL practice machine. So here you can see SQL practice server, default instance. We don't have any high CPU, just the operating system CPU is approximately 4 to 5%. So we are going to generate workload against this SQL Server instance. So I already have this SQL query stress open uh, where I'm going to run this stored proc, a, ran a random queue, which will fire a lot of stored procs in background uh, that will cause high CPU and high memory uh, issues on the server. So you can verify uh, the server name is SQL, SQL practice. 
connecting to stack overflow database got so as the workload has started now we should within a few minutes or so we should start seeing that server here so yeah the server already uh, came up here but uh, not for the reasons which we are interested so if i come here on the other dashboard which always gives you the live matrix here we will uh, see that uh, the operating system will all of a sudden will go to high value similarly sql server cpu will go to high value so you can see earlier it was 10% now operating system uh, of cpu is 40% maybe within a minute or two it will go all to 90% and 100% then similarly you can see the memory grant pending status on the server is non zero so right now the value is 77 so that means this server should appear in our all center dashboard here we go so memory grant pending pending number is 77 so any non zero value for memory grant pending is undesirable that's why we want that server here so let's wait for the cpu to go all 80% and above and then we will stop the workload so once we stop the workload that server uh, and all the resources uh go back to normal then the server will disappear from this row again so as you can see now the operating system cpu is 100% sql cpu is 91% on that sql practice sql instance and we have 76 memory grants pending that means there are 76 uh, requests which are waiting for memory to be granted so that they can even start the execution so uh, let's resolve these issues first i am going to uh, resolve this offline state issue so i am going to bring the services of uh, this express in named instance on workstation machine online and then expectation is that line should go away that server should go away so there it is it is online here so let's go back to our central dashboard the dashboard will refresh every 5 seconds so let's wait for this to refresh <laughs> similarly uh, since we already saw the demo for this third row so let's stop the workload there you can see the sql express instance is gone from this second row that means it is online and this dashboard is reflecting that information for the third one let's stop the workload so now we stop the workload and eventually all the cpu and memory uh, resources should go back to the normal state and once they are back to normal state this row will disappear from this uh, uh, this sql server instance will disappear from this row so you can see in sql practice the memory grant pending is gone at least it is back to zero and the average cpu which we see for these values uh, after a couple of minutes i think the average will go down since these values are average so let's go back to our live dashboard and here we can see in live dashboard individual live server dashboard uh, the os cpu is 7% and sql is 1% so even this dashboard should reflect the same values and there we are sql is sql practice is gone from this dashboard so that's it uh, this is all about this central dashboard from which we monitor all the sql instances in one glance in next session we will talk about uh, this particular dashboard which 
gives you the matrix for each and every individual server level de uh, details. So we'll talk about this one in next session. Thank you.